And I guess it's time for the daily good morning. As you can see, the sun has now come out and shining on beautiful Arvidsjar. And we are out here on the track. And of course, coming in with Frederick, he was like drifting and I'm like, oh, he's losing it. And then he just pulls a 360. I'm like, that's why he's a pro driver and I'm not. So I actually arrived in the Audi because the Braga thought it was a little cold at minus 17 this morning. So they're uh, working on, you know, trying to give her some heat. But I'm okay with it because there's, as you saw yesterday, there's so many fun things that everybody lets you drive. So we're okay. And to be honest, me and the Praga, we have a really strong relationship, but I think we need a little bit of distance. We've been spending too much time lately. So yeah, we have uh, half a day here before we're gonna start driving south to Stockholm. And we are basically just gonna have fun and enjoy life. Welcome Benji. How are you on this glorious morning? Oh, very well. Me too. Cannot wait to try this, to see how it rolls onto the ice. Oh yeah. See, Benji was spending all day editing yesterday like a trooper. So today we said, edit will be late today because we're gonna have fun and then we're gonna just edit in the car. Yes, I do agree. So today Benji is with us full time. Hold on, let's turn off uh, ESP. Is that off? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's off. See, in this car, you can even take your gloves off. Yes. It's like a luxury car. Let's see what you have. Oh wait, wait, manual. Manual, where? There we go, manual. <laughs> oh, it's so different going from back. I found a shovel. Yeah. What happened? Well, what happened was that I was going to be real. I, I was getting cocky and I wanted to do like a cool like tail slide into the bank. <laughs> and then uh, and then the bank was a little harder than I anticipated. Gave me a nice return. And, uh, and then we turned frontwards into the... Hold on, we got to get fast and get it out before anyone needs to help us. Because if you get up by yourself, then it's all right. Yeah. It was, uh, uh, there was a, a car speeding and I, oh, yeah, I panicked. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> I'm break for the corner. the Brits. Like, <laughs> it, it wasn't my fault at all. Like, <laughs> it you just. You weren't going fast. No, like. You on your phone. Yeah, I was just like showing Benji a chill lap and, and then, uh, yeah. And then I couldn't open my. The, the door. door. But hey, I got the shovel. <gasps> it is really stuck. All is good here, nothing to see. <laughs> No. Okay, do you mind if we... The GoPro is doing great. The GoPro is good. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yes. No tow truck. So where are we going now? Now we're going to the uh, actual truck. <laughs> I'm the official shovel guy. I shovel for everybody. Yes. I will see what I can do. I need some practice. Thank you for helping. Well, first of all, I love shoveling. Second of all, when you're stuck, you want to be the guy that helped so that you get helped. <laughs> Are we really stuck? Oh, I don't know, wow. I think we're just like... I don't know if we're normal stuck or like really stuck. Yeah, but you know sometimes when you realize like, okay, this is not gonna work, your only chance is to hit the full throttle and hopefully you power through. And we didn't. <laughs> I know I was in trouble, so it's either full gas and hope for it, or like, play it safe. <laughs> I tried to get on the other side, but it was too big. <laughs> Shovel time now. Shovel time. First block boots from snow. But it's what happened like when you're just pushing, you're pushing more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And then the longer you drive, the harder it is to stay focused. Yeah. And the more you push, and then you just end up here. 
And you, you, saw, some you saw our support crew. They're dancing. Yeah, the support crew dancing and playing some music. Hey, yo, Tommy Cuz. The proper attire. Yeah, visibility is key. Yeah. Like, bro, do you even wear neon anymore? <laughs> Thank you so much for like being responsible. There we go. <laughs> now that looks more appropriate for someone who's gonna be digging for an hour. Oh, and you have the triangle. I thought you were bringing out the chair and the thermos. <laughs> Very spent the bus is on its way. <laughs> but this <laughs> looks great. Man. Tommy, do you mind helping out? <laughs> you see, like this is why we end up here when you hang out with these people. The track just seems like such an ordinary option. <laughs> Ah, that's perfect. I get no Can't get sunburnt when you're digging it like the no. reflection of the ice is really strong. Oh yeah! Oh, one, two, three! Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Burnt. Pitch life. Uh. Should we like try to like stop? No, no, not stop, but at least give it 10 minutes before we go off again. Yeah. It's okay, we're here! <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone was stuck in an avalanche and you were a shitty shoveler. Yeah. Your buddy's dead. Yeah. This is good training. Yeah. So this is like pretty stuck. We had a good situation going. Everybody come on! Yeah, three! See? <laughs> With some good shovel work. Let's go, Drift! They were here without shovels. <laughs> then rescue personnel showed up. <laughs> Shoveled like there was a person buried in an avalanche underneath. Yeah. Yeah, and that was good. Of course we're good. All good. All good. Yeah, me too. I, I've never been smiling so much when I saw Jon in the Mer in the Mercedes behind me. And I was wide, completely side with Batmobile and Jon, you were like five, ten meters maximum away from me. It was unbelievable. I don't think I was smiling. I was probably petrified doing everything I could to get the shot and not destroy the cars. But now we should roll. Everything's, well, not everything's intact, but like, most yeah, like 70% yeah. intact. It's a good number. <laughs> 70 but the Audi's not going to come over and take the track, so we should roll out of here. And uh, I guess the Praga I, I thought it was too cold up here today. But I do I do have to say, to, to like end the Praga story, it was a sick challenge to drive that thing up here. Difficult on the ice, but that thing's made for the track. So overall, a sick car. But if you want to buy an ice racing car, do not buy the Praga. You want, you know, a summer sick, crazy track car, you buy that. To clarify. Life is gonna calm down a little. <laughs> We're working Tetris here. Mr. Olson. I'm gonna miss you guys. It's been incredible. Yeah, man, for sure. And we'll do it soon again. Definitely. With bigger spikes, crazier cars. We already started planning. Perfect, I love <laughs> it. All right, so we're now all packed up and ready. Everything is 100% except frederick left with the keys to the car so we have a full back seat <laughs> we have everybody everybody say hey, ready, hey. Hello. <laughs> so yeah we're gonna have a long road trip to stockholm so the amount of stress level that we put on when we got to the hotel was like four thousand percent and we were like carotid like tetrising <laughs> back here <laughs> and then we're all like all right we're good to go and then of course we have no key because frederick left with the key to the car so now we've been sitting there 15 minutes all jammed up car's starting to fog up and we still don't have a key. And we have, you know, a good 10 hours to drive. Okay, so Casper, you're jet blue. I'm fuel. Seb, you are... What's your fluid? We're doing a quick pit stop. Everybody go. This is us, always. Efficiency. 
We have been wanting water and pissed off for like a good 400 kilometers. But that's wasting t valuable time that we could be chilling or editing or anything. So now we're gonna fuel up. We need some jet blue in, in this thing. Washer fluid. And I am officially in love with the SQ7. Like I might actually want to get one. I feel like I'm in an un undestructible mega tank from the future. Because this compared to the Praga, it's like pretty self-driving. <laughs> Just like you can go 400, except we're only, only going 110, of course. So now if you want, you can run in and go to the bathroom yeah. or get food. Both at the same time. Yeah, I'll be out. right in. Yeah. Hey. Hey. This is it. And this. Uh, and one more Red Bull. All right. So, 296. This is how you road trip with Jonathan. Man, frozen, because it's pretty full. There you go, Benny. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody ready? We're ready. Let's go. We're in. Yeah. Good pit stop, guys. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. <laughs> Are you screaming? Huh? <clears throat> yeah. But you want to know the best part about all this? Is that we're running, we're stressing, we're doing all this. And I don't, I don't even know where we're staying tonight or where we're going tomorrow. So that's yeah. something we're trying to figure out on the way to Stockholm. Um, so yeah, we'll have to get back to you on that, but we always want to get to places <laughs> efficient. Please make a U-turn. <laughs> Please make a U-turn. <laughs> We're in Stockholm, we have a hotel room and the funny thing is with this is that we do not know where we're going tomorrow. I have not booked a flight anywhere but we're at Arlanda airport and I might fly to Paris and see Yanni or I might go home or somewhere else. We'll see tomorrow <laughs> but we, with that we'll stay over and out. Oh yeah, and we ha of course if you want to see more of our trip. It's like, it's, you know, a different perspective. You have Seb's channel below. Thank you. So just go check that out as well. It's and been an awesome trip. It's been a really yeah, fun, fun trip. Yeah. Like I'm so used to doing like gumball thingies with one person. Yeah. Having a full car was like a party. And you just went through, you just wouldn't stop. You did really well. That's how I do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you. now we're not going to go through. We're going to like stop. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Over and out. Ciao. Oh yeah, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> All right, let's go to the